What is going on guys? This is a tour of the Dave & Buster's store here in Austin, Texas. It is an older Dave & Buster's and this is the first one here in Austin, Texas. There's actually a brand new store that just opened a month ago in Austin, Texas, but this store is very, very old and it's a rather smaller um, store than some of the other ones that I've been to. So you walk in and it is a lot smaller. The Mix Master is right there. So it's a pretty small store for an older store, but it has all the same stuff. So you walk in, Midway's over there. They have the, um, an interesting uh, eating area over here. It's like, uh, they have the tap zone like San Diego and a couple other stores in Long Beach, California. But it feels like uh, San Diego in a way with the tap zone and the dining area is on the left side of this Dave & Buster's. So the dining area is over here, similar to some other stores, like I said. San Diego is very similar to this store. But here's the dining area, it's all standard. And again, very, very small. For an older store and over there's the bar and over here is an entrance to the midway so usually there are a lot um, bigger eating areas but this one is very small and this is the entire midway you can see it i know it looks kind of big but this is definitely one of the smaller older stores but we're still going to take a look at all the games here that they have in austin so first is the virtual reality over there is red cup challenge the single one here is the halo fire team and then over here, there are two big basketball fields. And the jackpot's only 500, it's not 2,000. Here is Basketball Pro, and it's 210 points. That's very high. Here is Double Run, Doodle Jump. And I also noticed that this Dave & Buster's, the chips cost is 0.2 chips higher than every other Dave & Buster's. Usually they're 7.5. Here it's 7.7. .7. I don't know why that is, but it's all right. Here is uh, Gold Fishing, a single ring toss a break the plate angry birds let's bounce there is the uh, house of the dead on the jurassic park a candy crust and then over here is subway surfers uh papa doing uh yahtzee arcade then they have luigi's mansion they have the beat saver they have uh, ghostbusters and then all the other basketballs in the back they have a two minute drill a hyper pitch a gridiron blitz in the back connect for hoops only four NBA hoops. Usually there's a lot more, there's only four here. Here is the hot shot basketball. And back in the corner, they have full tilt, a wacky win, Calico Assault. And then over here is Dodgeball Ultimate Arena. And it's very big, obviously. Here is the world's largest Pac-Man. And then over here, they have Crossy and Disney and everything. So the Crossy Road and the Flappy are standard, 250 jackpots. The other side, they have Bobblehead Baseball. They have Disney Cross here out. It's also 250. They have a Harpoon Lagoon. And then over here they have Typhoon, Ram Piano Keys, uh, Space Invaders Frenzy. Over there is the Pong, the Guardians of the Galaxy, Elevator Action, an old photo booth. And then like I said, this Dave & Buster's is one of the stores that has the tap zone. Not a lot of older stores have this. The only other store that I know is San Diego, California. So I don't know if it's exclusive to some stores or it's testing or whatnot, but it's pretty cool. But it's unfortunate because it takes up a lot of the room where there could be games. Now it's just an eating area. So there's definitely not a lot of games here, which is very, very shocking for a Dave & Buster's this old, because usually they're a lot bigger. Uh, here is Arena Salvation, and then Aliens on the other side, uh, Wheel of Fortune, and then this is really cool. They have an Omni Arena. Again, it takes up a lot of space. There's not a lot of games here at all like you're missing a lot of games here which is very shocking but this is a pretty cool omni arena thing i've never seen this out of david musters i'm pretty sure it's separate but that is still very very cool here is two meter uh ddr black hole rampage emoji frenzy uh centipede chaos they have airfax pong hungry hungry hippos and then over there they have a zombie snatcher and the bonus is 2000 that's actually pretty good and then there's fruit ninja that some people are playing uh, treasure quest wheel monster drop over here they have the grab and win claw machines very freshly stocked or it's just either very weak here is a cyclone classic game and then over here they have marvel contest of champions they have injustice arcade they have pac-man battle royale championship and then here's the main midway entrance where they used to have the uh midway walkthrough sign and everything but unfortunately it's long gone i kind of wish they still had it but this entire uh hallway had the the old classic midway sign that a lot of people grew up with and i really miss it 
Uh, here is a uh, this Pac-Man Galaga, the ice cream machine, Wicked Tuna, Hot Wheels King of the Road, Minecraft Dungeons. They have three of the power things in the middle, but it's very uh, limited. Like I said, not a lot of games here. Here is Fishbowl Frenzy, and they're all, already back in the corner. They have a Quick Drop for 540, Speed of Light, uh, Monopoly, the big one with the tickets, Lane Master, three Ice Ball FXs, uh, Double Down the Clown. This is super funny. Limit 15 balls on each side, which is kind of funny because there's always way less than that. Uh, here is Milk Chug Toss for 250, uh, Tailgate Toss, Jurassic World, it's like 180, which is very low. I don't know why it's like that. Here's a Hatchet Hero, there's a Crazy Curves, and there is one single spinning win. They have Country Panda, one Mario and Sonic. Usually there's four, that's very strange. And Speed of Light, and they have two Angry Birds coin crashes. My theory is that they might have taken one of these from the old Houston store that closed down. That was the first ever public Dave & Buster's, technically. There were two stores in Dallas, but those were technically like the co-founder locations and they weren't technically Dave & Buster's stores that the public saw, but they first announced the first public store in Houston that I actually got before it shut down. So that was a very, very cool store. But I'm guaranteed one of these might have came from that closed store because it's very rare to find two Angry Birds coin crashes at Dave & Buster's. But here is uh, Star Trek. There are a couple other coin pushers I missed. So here's the SpongeBob Pineapple Arcade. And last but not least, next to the Winter Circle is the uh, Spider-Man coin pusher. Like I said, very limited on games. The Tap Zone takes up so much space, and there's not a lot of games at all here, which is very shocking. But here's the Winter Circle. It's the newer Winter Circle. It is not decent size. Pretty much the same as all the other older stores. But again, this is Dave Buster's, so all the stuff that you see is all the same stuff that you guys have seen in all my other tours. So it's just slightly different and they might be in a different area, but they have an icy machine. Here's all the David Musters branded stuff. Here's all like the wellness and care and whatnot. I mean, David Musters has a cool selection of prizes, but honestly, it doesn't really compare to some of the other arcades. There's not a lot of cool things to get here. I like a lot of cool small prizes, but David Musters still has a pretty decent uh, big prize selection. So here they actually have a lot of good stuff. They have both the Xboxes, which isn't bad at all. The Roomba, they have the Ring. They don't have the Nest Thermostat right now. They have the... Uh, Xbox and Switch kits. They have all the TriStar stuff. So that's pretty cool. AirPods Pro, regular AirPods, Sonic Maker, MetaQuest, and a well, it's Switch. It's not, not bad. Here is some more stuff down here. More random plush. Not a lot of licensed plush here. It's kind of weird. And more stuff on this wall. More uh, generic stuff on this wall. But honestly, it's not like that good for a price selection. A lot of stuff's in the middle. But again, they're kind of uh, limited on the uh, prizes here. But that is basically it. This is the Dave & Buster's store in Austin, Texas. This is the older store. This is one out of two stores now. There is a store that just opened about a month ago that's even smaller than this. But like I said, these older Dave & Buster's are much larger, except for this one. You guys may think that this is a large store, but honestly, this is probably one of the smaller, older stores that I have seen. But still very, very cool. Again, this is the Dave & Buster's store in Austin, Texas. Not a lot of cool games. The other store has a lot of rare games. If you guys like new stuff, definitely go to that South Austin store. A lot of really cool stuff there. But again, this is Dave & Buster's in Austin, Texas. If you guys like this tour, like, comment, subscribe, and comment down below where I should go to next and what you guys think of this Dave & Buster's here. I'll see you guys in the next tour.